Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to be reviewing the Benchmade Station Knife. So the Station Knife is one of different custom kitchen knives offered by Benchmade, and the Station Knife is essentially supposed to be the do-it-all knife. If you were to only have one knife in the kitchen, you'd choose the Station Knife. It's supposed to be a jack-of-all-trades, all-in-one package. Before we dive deeper into the Station Knife, I'm going to do a little size comparison up against some other kitchen knives, including some Benchmade knives. First up, here it is up against a Japanese chef knife. This is the Shun Sora. I know you can't really see it well in the camera, but I'll kind of zoom out. As you can see, the station knife is definitely shorter in overall length, but it is pretty wide in contrast to a Japanese chef knife. Here it is up against the Benchmade Meat Crafter, and here it is up against the Benchmade Custom Table Knife. Here's a better top-down view. As you can see, the station knife is like the middle ground between a chef knife and uh, I know it's called the table knife but the table knife is essentially a paring knife if it's not being used as a regular utensil at the dinner table and while it is shorter the blade itself is actually quite wide to make it a good chopper and next up let's measure it up against a ruler in terms of sharpened blade length the sharpened blade comes in a little under six inches and then in terms of overall length from the rear bolster all the way to the tip of the knife it comes in at a a little over 11 inches in terms of overall length. And then in terms of the width of the blade, it comes in at around two and a quarter of an inch. And lastly, let's throw it up on a little scale. It comes in at seven ounces in comparison to the Shun Sora chef knife. Shun Sora is 6.6. .6. The Meat Crafter with the rubberized uh, handle comes in at 3.2. And then the custom table knife comes in at 3.7. The station knife comes with an injection molded sheath. It is very nice and sturdy and it's very simple and convenient to sheath and unsheath the knife. You also have a low groove for your finger to slide the knife off and then you also have the Benchmade butterfly logo in the middle which is a nice touch. You also have some grooves in the front and the back as well as the tip end of the sheath so that dust and water won't stay trapped in it. As as of right now, the station knife is unfortunately only available through Benchmade's custom cutlery program. So right now, there is no regular production versions of the station knife. And while my station knife actually shipped really fast and was put together pretty fast within like one to two business days, uh, during the holiday seasons, because it is through their custom program, you may have to wait longer due to the lead times. I personally think Benchmade should make at least one version of all of their custom kitchen knives with maybe just like a basic all black G10 handle uh, production version of that so that they're readily available and perhaps even lower the price because all of the knives are pretty expensive even considering that it's a custom Benchmade knife. My station knife build consists of a stonewashed uh, 440C blade as well as an OD green G10 handle with a black G10 bolster with a gold pivot ring. It retailed for $280 but my first responder discount brought it down to like $220 which was pretty nice. And keep in mind that if you want CPM 154 steel it would bring up the cost to $325 and then maybe a little lower with the first responder discount but that is something just to know and also if you want rich light or carbon fiber handles it will also increase the price of the knife because those are considered more premium handle materials than g10 i've used this knife for over two weeks now uh, by day i'm an emt and at work i'm in a fire station all day and sometimes when i help to cook or it's my day to cook uh, i like to have this as my one do-it-all knife and over those two weeks that i've had the station knife and uh, used it for cooking and food prep I gotta say, it definitely works as intended. The station knife is advertised to be a jack-of-all-trades knife that does it all, and I can definitely agree that it definitely does it all. It's great as a standard chef's knife, from slicing meat, slicing and dicing vegetables, as well as doing more delicate and precise tasks like you would use with a paring knife. When I used my station knife, it was effective in all of those tasks. The knife is full tang, the handle feels great in hand, and you get a good amount of clean. 
clearance that's on par with a chef's knife. While the blade isn't as long as a traditional chef's knife, it's only around six inches instead of being eight or nine inches. It still slices meat really well, and uh, even for those bigger pieces of meat, you just have to uh, do a longer slice, and it makes up for it with the blade being wide, which is great for chopping. And I really love how the tip is a lot more acute in contrast to the main body of the knife, which makes it nice for doing paring knife tasks, doing more detailed and finer work like uh, coring a tomato or slicing and dicing an avocado still in its shell. I really like the design of a wide blade but with a smaller, more acute tip. It's like a perfect fusion of a chef's knife and a paring knife all in one blade, which I think is awesome. Another thing to note about Benchmade's kitchen knives is that all of the edges are at a 14 degree select edge angle. Select edge is what Benchmade calls all of their uh, special edges at a degree that's less than 20 degrees. Traditionally, knives are usually at a 20 degree angle in terms of the actual edge itself. Benchmade's kitchen knives are at a more acute 14 degree angle, which means that they are even thinner and can take an even finer edge and makes the blade even more slicier. The downside to that is that it won't hold the edge as long as a 20 degree angle. But of course, if you're always honing your knife before you use it and you know how to properly sharpen it or send it in for Benchmade's Life Sharp program, uh, you won't really have a problem. Right out of the box, the knife was razor sharp and it's still razor sharp. Of course, I do hone the knife each time before I use it. Overall, I do think the Benchmade Station Knife really does live up to its intended purpose of being the jack of all trades knife, the knife that you'll take if you can only have one knife. Uh, it's great to only have to bring one knife to and from station and uh, even in my own kitchen, it's great just to have one knife to do everything instead of switching between knives. I think if you can afford it, I'd say go for it. Uh, 280 is definitely a steep price and that's with the arguably cheaper steel. If you do qualify for one of Benchmade's discounts, I highly recommend you use it on these knives because they are really expensive. I guess really the only criticism I have for the station knife and all of Benchmade's kitchen knives are the fact that they're only available through the custom program. I feel like if they just made a regular production version uh, with a basic handle, basic colorways, and then have it in CPM 154, the arguably better steel, at a good price, I think that would be perfect. So what do you guys think of the Benchmade Station Knife? I'd definitely like to know down in the comments. So that's going to do it for this video. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed. Follow me on my socials. If you really love the review, please consider leaving a super thanks in the tip jar below. And thanks for watching.